Lakshmi was born with only one functioning kidney. So during the operation, the surgeons transplanted a kidney from the parasitic twin into her body. They need to check that both kidneys are working normally. Lie down. They're just taking a photo. We have done it two or three times before. Potential nerve damage is also a concern. During the first operation, neurosurgeons had to cut through Lakshmi's spinal column to separate her from the parasitic twin. It was not clear to the surgeons where Lakshmi's nerves ended and the parasites began, so they had to make an educated guess. If this damaged Lakshmi's nerve system, it could lead to incontinence and walking difficulties. It's okay, I'm here. Shh, shh. The following day, the lead surgeons on Lakshmi's case come to assess her. I'm very happy with her, you know what I see. You know I think she's grown well, absolutely. and her, from all the you know ultrasound yeah. and all these imaging that we have, yeah. her tummy is absolutely normal. Yeah. She's continent, which is yeah. a great surprise. Absolutely. We did an ultrasound yesterday to look at her kidneys, which are also completely normal. Uh, they are both the blood supply and the way this, including the one that we brought up from the Including the one that we brought up from below. She's got a uh, uterus, and she's got a vagina, and. Uh, I can't tell you how they're going to work in the future now, but I'm sure that if all these things are progressing as well as they are, uh, that's going to grow as well, and she'll be all right. She's passing urine periodically, and she's got sensation of filling and emptying. She knows when she wants to pass. So that's almost normal, you know? So I don't think we can improve on that, and I don't think we need to do anything particularly for that. That's good news for Lakshmi. The surgery did not damage her nerves as feared. But now, chief neurosurgeon Dr. Hegde has another concern. He has discovered that Lakshmi was born with abnormal tissue connections between the nerves and bones in her spine, making it likely to stretch and bend as she grows. It's another concern over a period of time that she may develop a scoliosis. But the hemivertebrae are so balanced that as of now, the spine is straight. Uh, we need to keep a watch on that. Scoliosis is a curvature of the spine, which can lead to heart and lung problems. For now, the doctors decide to carefully monitor Lakshmi as she grows. Their principal concern is still her pelvis. Can, can you see the sex? The sex is quite interesting. I mean, show some of the pelvis. Yeah. This is taken here. We put it on that viewer. When the surgeons reconstructed Lakshmi's pelvis, they used a piece of bone from the parasite. But now they can't find any trace of it on the new x-ray. You know that big chunk of bone that was there? So it's just a resolve. It's a puzzling yet remarkable development. The doctors expected Lakshmi's body to respond to the parasitic twin's bone as foreign material. They thought it would have to be removed in order to tighten her pelvis. But instead, Lakshmi's body has accepted and integrated her twin's bone in a way never before seen in medical history. They are integrating beautifully with the host bone of Lakshmi. It's, okay. it's a perfect ring now. We've never heard of bones disappearing. We had the x-ray done, and we were told that they had. So that proves Lakshmi is a goddess. Whatever she desires comes true. 